Hi everyone, it's Jerry. I'm on leadchess.org and I'm going to do a group of three puzzles and just share my thoughts along the way. So we'll do one from each of these uh, three categories here. And uh, in this first one, white to move. So let's see. Uh, this rating, by the way, is uh, up until this point pretty much a team rating. I've only really done puzzles while on stream and uh, it's been a collaborative effort to uh, get to that rating, so let's see if uh, we could only improve upon it. Um, hmm. Okay, I've seen this uh, tactical motif before, so I know the solution to this one. Um, it's a forced mate in three. So, take this bishop first. Um, maybe before I move just draw some arrows here. Takes, king takes, just to help a little bit with the uh, visual calculation. Um, queen takes, bishop, king takes, knight f5 is a double check. And there's only one reply. The king has to go back to g8. And then knight to h6 is, is a mate. So um, I found that the easy puzzles tend to be uh, forced mates. But uh, not all the time. In this case, it's a mate in three. Uh, that's a good one. I'll give it an arrow up and uh, just quickly see where this was pulled from. These puzzles are pulled from uh, games that have been played on the site. And uh, let's see how we got to that position. And let's see if White actually came up with the solution. Um, just kind of... Skipping through real quick. Did white end up getting it? They did. Very cool. Okay. Let's check out puzzle two. Let's check out a normal puzzle. Okay. Yet another one. White to move here. Well, the first thing I'm thinking about with this one is that the queen is a little bit misplaced. And I'm trying to find a way to trap the queen. Hmm. I believe we can do that. Hmm. As it stands right now, the queen has many options. Four options. Um, as a start, I'm seeing a way that where white can make one move and... Mm, restrict the queen, you know, she can't move to three of those. If we play knight h4, these three are taken away. In fact, these four are taken away. The knight is controlling g2. So a move like knight h4 and then bishop to g4 would trap the queen. But of course, white has a move in, uh, well, excuse me, black has a move that they could be making. So let's see, knight h4, there's moves like f5. Stopping bishop g4, or even h5. Um, this I, this move right here I'd categorize under a quiet move, so let me look for something a bit more forceful, one that throws a punch at the queen, a bit more directive. Um, hmm. I mean, there's knight g5. But what are we doing after queen h6? I don't see how to get to the queen from that position. What's the material count? Okay, black is up a pawn, but he'll be one back. But the trick here should probably be to hunt down this queen. I think on knight g5, queen h6, I really don't see what the follow-up is. We, we no longer have that dark square bishop around. That would conveniently control h6. So... Hmm. Oh, knight h4 probably, yeah, it must be knight h4. Huh. Knight h4, and suppose one of these two. Because otherwise it's bishop f1 and the queen is gone. Or bishop, bishop here. Okay, so knight h4... Suppose one of these two controlling g5, g4, then, hmm, 
Then if bishop f1 right away, the queen could pivot on g4 in this case. Uh, the pawn would be controlling the g4 square. But maybe there's a quiet move. This might be a, a quiet move to start. And then a, a quiet move for uh, the, the second turn for white. So in other words, knight h4, let's, let's run with... I, don't, I really can't wrap my head around the difference between f5 and h5. Let's just say f5 is played, knight h4, f5. Instead of bishop f1, maybe we first take away the g4 square with f3. And only then on our next move will we play bishop to f1 and the queen will be gone. There is this check that could be thrown in, but it could always be met with c3. Pawn takes, pawn takes, we're throwing another punch at black. They could return to f, or excuse me, c5. I have pressure here, but any sacrifices on f2, we're just recapturing, and it still remains, well, still the same story. The queen is in some hot water here. She will be trapped. I believe that's it. Let's give it a shot. It is correct. Okay, it's opting for h5, controlling g4, and I believe one more quiet move f3 and then uh, we're gonna get the queen yes that is correct and okay so I guess this is the best that black can do bishop f1 and I don't think it really matters king takes queen takes I don't see a difference um, I guess rook takes so you could still Queenside castle. I think either one would be good. Okay, we got that one. I think that's a pretty good one. Let's see where it was pulled from. Have a quick look. Did white end up getting it? You can see the stats when the game was played, who the players were. Top left there. Just uh, zipping through here. No, they just went with recapturing on d4. Okay. So they didn't come up with that tactic in this one, but uh, let's move on. Let's check out this last puzzle uh, under the hard group. And let's see if we could get this one. Hmm. My first thought is that maybe this puzzle doesn't belong under the hard group. Hmm. I have been mistaken before with these, though. Um, sometimes they look... Maybe not so hard, but they're a little bit involved here. Some deep calculation. Hmm. Well, we only have two pieces to really work with here. Playing playing as white, bishop and queen. Hmm. Might be tough to control this uh, b6 square. Just checks, multiple checks. Here, here, here. Um, hmm. I'm not sure where my mind should be focused on this one. I mean, I'm looking at the checking moves. Um, but I'm also wondering how do I get another piece involved in the attack? I believe we need that. Like, I don't know, a pawn move to get the bishop out to hit here, or knight c3, coming into a4 to control this. Um, I don't see how the queen, or the queen, I was already saying, I don't see how the bishop can control b6. Uh, if anyone else knows how that could be a possibility, let me know. So it's, it's difficult to get the queen even controlling this square. Um, I mean, moves like this, check, king here, that's mate right away, but after check king here, what's the follow-up then? Oh, actually, I am seeing it. We don't we don't need any other pieces besides the queen and bishop. I think this is the correct start. Queen check. King here is forced. Otherwise, king b6, queen b5, mate. 
So queen check king here. And then the queen can make use of f5. Check. And if the king goes back home, bishop f7 is mate. And if he goes to c6 when the queen is on f5, queen b5 is another mate. And so check king here, check. We're down to this one being the last option for for black. In which case we can do what? Um, Probably just come back over to d5. First, um, take the pawn. King here, come back here with check. Same story, king b6, queen b5 mate. And if the king comes back over here, we once again revisit f5 with check. And this time, there's no longer a pawn on e7. So, there's no e6 move. And so, what are the options for black then? If he goes back home, it's... Not bishop f7, but rather queen f7. If he goes here, it's queen e6 mate. And if he goes back here, it's mate over here. Okay, so this is another forced mate. I don't know, what is that, five or six moves deep? I believe this is the correct start, though. That is correct. Queen f5. That's correct. You take with the queen. And then return here. So far, so good. Once again, revisit f5. Keeping an eye on this square, and it's mate next. Queen b5 mate. Again, if you went here, we actually had two different, uh, or excuse me, not two different ones, here or here. It would be queen f7 mate, and here on c6. That right there is the mate. I've experienced more difficult ones from the hard group um, on Lee Chess, but uh, this was yet another uh, forced mate sequence. That's a pretty good one. And uh, just as a close, let's see yet again where this puzzle was pulled from. Take it right from the top here. Okay. <laughs> White's coming right out for the scholars mate. And did they pull this one off? No. Well, they didn't. Uh, maybe they revisit... No, they're not going in that direction, are they? I think it was still possible after takes here. Oh, well, no, it's saying that they lost the forced checkmate sequence. But after king d7, now it's back on. Check. And that's not the direction to go in, so they didn't end up getting that uh, forced mate sequence. That's the remainder of it. But uh, anyhow, uh, interesting uh, group of three. Feel free as usual. Uh, just leave any comments in the comment section below to this video and uh, feel free to share how you did uh, with these three puzzles uh, yourself in the comment section below. So that's all for now. As usual, I hope you got something out of it. Take care. Bye.